Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw a level 40 Triceratops from Jurassic World the game. So hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video. Now to start off with our level 40 Triceratops, we're going to begin over here with the eye. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to make a small oval shape for the eye. And then I'm going to add a small little black dot in here for the pupil. Starting right here, we're going to add a little curved line that goes right around here. Then I'm going to make a little line that goes up and that's going to come down here for the eyebrow ridge. I'll add a little line underneath there. Next, starting here, we're going to add a little line that's going to curve up. It's going to come right up to here. I'm going to make a little line that just goes down. And then I'm going to continue down to like a hook where it curves in. Then I'm going to make a line that's just going to go down and it's going to kind of come up and then back to here. Right here we'll add another little line that goes down and then it's going to come up. And then we're going to take this up and then go right to about here. Starting here we're going to add a little line that goes right across and maybe a couple little lines underneath it as well. Right above the eye, I'm gonna add some of the horns on here. So starting right here, we're just gonna add a long line that goes right to the edge of our paper. It's gonna to come to a point. It's gonna come back and then curve around. Starting here, we're gonna add a little line that goes up and then a little bump like this. Then I'm going to add another little line that's just going to go out. It's going to come to a point and then right back. I'll add a couple little curved lines right around here. Now starting up here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and then it's going to curve back just a little bit. I'll draw a line down here. It's going to go up and kind of do the same thing. Make another one here. When I get the top up here, I'm going to make a big one that's going to go down. Make a line that goes up and down. We're going to go up and down. And I'm just going to kind of make it wavy all the way to here. Then I'm going to curve this back in towards the eye. Then starting here, I'm going to make a long line that's just going to curve out. And that's going to come right back up here towards the face. We'll add a little curved line right here so we can see that there's a uh, spike sticking out. Right here, I'm going to add a little line that's going to curl around for the nose. And then a little line around it for the nostril. Right here, I'm going to make a little line that's just going to go out and it's going to come back. Put another one right up here. These are going to be kind of going different directions as they kind of move around. So we'll make this one a little bit straighter. Some of these other ones kind of curve down. This one more goes at a straight point. This one's going to be a little bit more angled. And then these are just going to kind of come up here, come to points, and then just go down. And we're just going to kind of continue these and we'll add one more right over here. Now, starting down here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to go down and it's going to come right out to here. We'll make a little line that goes down and we'll just kind of curve it up. Then we're going to angle a line that goes down here. It's going to come back. Let another little line that goes down for a toe. One more here. Then we'll curve this up. Then we'll make a line that goes back and it's going to come right up here. Make another little line for the body. Then right here we're going to start higher. We're going to make a line that goes down and it's going to curve back like this. Make a little line that goes down and then comes back one more here for another toe. 
We'll make a little line that goes up and it's going to come here and curve in. And a little line that goes right back here. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down. And then I'm going to start in here and I'm going to make a line that goes down. And then it's going to curve back. I had to angle the tail a little bit differently because I was running out of room. Then I'm just going to take this, I'm just going to go up, I'm going to get right to about here, and then I'm going to bring it back down. Then start here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, I'm going to make it go out, and then back, out, and then back like this. And then I'll add another leg here, we're just going to go down, kind of angle it in, little line that goes out and around, and then come back. We'll add a little line up. So, here's our basic drawing of our level 40 Triceratops. Now we want to come in here and add some of the different details. Let's start on the face. Right around here, I'm going to add a little broken line and another one for some details. We'll do the same thing down here, a couple more little lines. going to add a few little lines right around the eye. Maybe a little broken line right around here to show there's like an indentation. We can add some small quick little lines for spikes or uh, for detail lines on here. Maybe a few along here as well for some texture. Might add a little line up here. I like to add some little curved lines in some different areas just to kind of show where the spike is kind of sitting. I'll put a little line or two onto our Triceratops' horns here. A few lines here. I'm going to add some long lines kind of going down here as well. And a little long line right there too, just for some little extra texture. And then we're just going to add some extra lines kind of right around here. And then I like to add just a few lines that just kind of curl around here too, that run different directions just, just to show a little bit of extra texture on here. So I'm just kind of adding a few quick little lines in some different spots. Now right up here, I'm going to add some little curved lines for the neck area. A few little wrinkle lines, we'll add some curved lines for the toes. A few little wrinkle lines right here where the legs sit. And then just maybe a couple little extra wrinkle lines by the feet. I'm going to add some wrinkle lines up here and some little lines right by the toes. I'm going to add some quick little lines right along here. And then I'm going to add a couple little lines going right down the back and then some more right along the body as well. And then a couple more over here. And we're going to add a few right there. Next, what I want to do is I want to add these spikes on here. So I'm going to just add some different spikes. They're just going to be like little triangular shapes up here. Nothing too big because these are just going to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to do a nice little row of these going down. And they don't go all the way down the tail. We'll stop them right about here. And then they're just kind of all over the place. So I'm going to make just some little spikes with a little curved bottom at the end here. And then I'm going to put a few more here. I 
and we're just going to put some on the leg here and they're going to be a few on this arm as well and we'll just kind of throw some smaller ones in here too and you can always go and add a few extra lines on here for some details just give them a little bit extra texture it's kind of hard on some of these smaller ones a few little broken lines but there you go there is your drawing of a level 40 triceratops from jurassic world the game i'm going to fast forward and start coloring this thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed